So I had a good sleep. I'm on the way to the clinic now in 20 minutes. Um, and I'm doing something a little different this clinic. I'm gonna actually give a talk on my training philosophy. And so I was thinking that I would show in that talk um, a little clip of a video and I'll show it to you guys here. Check it out. Hire is, is my story from growing up on Cape Cod and really following my passions, letting nothing get in the way of snowboarding. Along the way, I realized that it's, it's not about standing on the highest peak or not about the descent. It's really the journey, the emotions, the, the people you meet along the way. It truly is, you know, the journey is the reward. So my buddy and I, Steven, uh, that you probably know from the vlogs, he, um, he and I got onto watching these snowboarding films and specifically this guy, Jeremy Jones, and he was always talking about living his life in this way that's like, it's the journey, not the destination. And for me, I think the amazing thing about dressage, if you really think about it, is that Dressage means training. And so there's, for that to mean training, that it's kind of in the name itself, it means that it's about the journey, not the destination. You know, it doesn't mean showing, it doesn't mean winning, it doesn't mean percentages, it doesn't mean money, it means training. And it's kind of, you realize then that it's like, it's a way of life. It's a, an addiction that you can get into dressage and it can kind of take you over as a person and just get into working with this horse and getting to know this horse and making it feel more comfortable and understand you better. And these components are more important than showing and winning. But really the training, that's, the training is the meat of dressage. It's not these external, you know, the end result. Like I want to make Grand Prix horses too. I have that end result, that desire to get to that certain point. But it, it really is the journey along the way that is the, the meaningful part. My drone today. I know, I was thinking about that. We'll probably have time at the end. Oh, you already went to Timmy's? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, baby. Nice. Roll into the clinic. What do you mean went to Timmy's? Last night you were like, you make sure I have my like Tim Hortons when I get <laughs> in the car or I'm gonna be freaking pissed off. Well, I can't tell them that. <laughs> Jesus, this guy. <laughs> Honestly. I can't believe you used to ride outside in this. Yeah, man, for like eight years. Longer than that, way longer than that. Like I legit rode in like outdoor rings in this. Like all winter when it's like minus 30. That's crazy. Oh. New calm day two. Until I have a moment a little bit longer that I can release that. Pressure, 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 and there I slow down a little bit right before, pressure, release, pressure, a little firmer, there, like that, you see the difference there? There you go. And move them away from your inside leg. Connect on your right wing. Good inside leg, right wing. Yeah, stay connected there. Like in the contact, you need to help him have the feeling that he can come through the rain, not that he's popping up against it. Good inside leg, push him over. Inside leg, 
Good, connect on your right leg. That's better, good, and then go stretching. See if you can make them a little lower, stretching down and out. Good, and push the nose out. The ability to organize the walk is super important for teaching the Pia. So if I can organize him here in these smaller steps, not really a collected walk, but almost smaller than that. The, the steps are little and small. And he's organized in his frame. That's gonna help me get the piano. So, so you just have to keep hanging in there and help. Tell you. That's right, you see it? Good, and then give her a break for a little bit there. But do you see how that, that response is different? Good boy, that's better. It doesn't matter who you like, but like if you find a rider that you're like, man, I really like the way that looks, and you're inspired by that, like I encourage people to go like look on YouTube, find the videos, and just like study it a little bit, watch it, and like as you're watching it, I think it's important to like try to mimic, try to get that feeling in your body. So you look at their, their position, their posture, their shoulders, how they're posting the trot, all of that, and, and kind of isolate it. So instead of just going and watching a YouTube video, like be a little more particular about how you watch it. So go watch it and be like, I wanna work on my shoulders or my, like how I'm riding there, right? Or how my contact is coming into my body. So this whole, the operation of my reins into my body. And when you're watching that rider on the internet, like really try to isolate and watch that component and then be like, okay, this is how that needs to feel. He's gonna see it, call all his buddies and be like, Get over here, we need more thumbs down on this one. This piece of shit video. Because they're talking about me thumbing down his other piece of shit video. And I keep oh, watching God. these piece of shit videos. <laughs> and I'm pissed off at it, so I thumb it down. That's funny. Jesus. It's brought to you by Coca Cola. Yeah.